hands up. Let's put those hands above our head and give it to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Please have your seat. I want to celebrate all of God's servants in the house. All of God's servants in the house. And I want to appreciate the fact that uh, God has brought us together to, not just to say what is on our heart, but to connect with what is in God's heart. And I'm praying that our short time together will be of eternal value in the name of Jesus. And um, I would like to discuss what I am seriously passionate about. And um, publicly, I also want to say I'm sorry my write-up didn't get uh, here before the printout. And that's why I have requested that um, my teaching or training should come up. Uh, if you have it, you can please bring it up right now. Amen. I bring you greetings uh, from our Father in the Lord, Reverend Ajita Mwabi. Well, I am a minister and I'm a missionary from the men of Isaka Vision. And we do two things for the 33 years of existence of the men of Isaka. We reawaken the church to do our responsibility. If church takes a place, if church have not lost the baton, if church have not changed the baton that was given unto her, our world will not be what it is today. Even the church will not be what we are. And so, the reawakening of the church will continue until Christ will come. The second aspect of our assignment is to reach the unrich at all cost. It may cost us our life. It may cost us anything. We will be ready. If Jesus Christ lost the glory, left the, the splendor, left everything in order to save me, you and, my, and myself, then we should be ready to go all the way to reach those that are not yet reached. And um, that is our primary assignment. And this particular section will actually be handling, reaching, I mean, reawaking the church to do a responsibility. CAC is a force to reckon with, either in number, either in passion. Am I making sense? So if CAC can be repositioned, if CAC can be thoroughly, thoroughly realigned, and refocus in what we are talking about, the, the church will be helped. The church will be helped. Our world will be helped. Please, can I have the second slide? Jesus' pattern of discipleship. There are several patterns let me also say here that Jesus is not the only one making disciples. Please, jack somebody. And say, Jesus is not the only one making disciples. And while I walk by, they are making their own disciple. Am I making sense? The businessmen are making disciples. They put it in different names. Can I also shock you? One of the things that have touched me these days is the fact that um, the Babalawos can actually borrow us to make disciples for them. Are you getting it? And it will go with them. Businessmen, they are using our pulpits to mentor and mentor our disciples to become businessmen, politicians, talk about it, can borrow us. But unfortunately for you and I, 
is that we cannot borrow Babalawu to make a disciple for Christ. Therefore, if you don't make disciple, who will lose? The kingdom you, you and I belong to will lose. Father, let your word come more with simplicity. Let your word come helping our hearts today. That when we rise up from here, aggression to do it for you. Father, the simplicity to do it and do it according to your pattern. You will hand it over to us in Jesus' name. Yes, please still give me that same, that same slide. Okay? We want to start from Mark 1, 17. Then Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you become. <laughs> it's not the first day you begin to follow him that you become. Follow me, and I will make you become a fisher of men. Therefore, we have two things. Follow and what? Make you. Mommy, can you follow me? Follow me, I will make you. And the woman started following. And I carry armor. I said, this contour here, I want to break it. Nobody on me, no one on your The lamb following your work by mass, okay. You know? And he refused for that thing to be shop up. Several of us do that with Jesus. 20 years you have been following, you have not become anything. Why? Because they make it. They make it. Can you tell somebody it is the making? You can follow and not be made. Then I said, Ma, you see this, we have to reduce this size. He said, around. Me, I even want to go taller. And where we want to fix her, she's already too big for it. Am I making sense? I said, no. No, God cannot deal with anybody who is self-willed. Thank you, ma. Did you see it? Follow and making. Please. People who did English, don't, uh, don't crucify me. I'm not an English woman. I also read to have CCs to continue. <laughs> so when you see following and making, it is until you see him face to face. The following, you must continue. You must continue. Because oftentimes when we go through discipleship class, people will say, for how long are we going to be disciples? For how for excuse me. <laughs> You continue to be a disciple following until you see him face to face. Hey, this me, after 40 years in ministry, you are still saying making. Excuse me. He will continue to make you. <laughs> the thing you, you escape. How many of you remember uh, Genesis 36, 35? Genesis 35. Jacob, Jacob. When Jacob began his journey, very early in life, he began and he started running. And God came to meet him. Ah, he batted Jawara. He said, No, no, leave me. Let me go to where I'm going. And he went round and round and round and round and round and round. After many years, let me, let me be uh, conservative about the time. Excuse me. After 40 years, God now came to him. And God said, go back to better. That better, where I began to work on you. Can you imagine? Ah, you won't escape the dealing of God. People who escape God's dealing, sincerely yours. I don't know what love become. He will stand at that point. He is not... He's, the, he's the, nothing will move him. Nothing. And I mean nothing. He will wait. The day you say you are returning, you will have to come and start from where. Oh, I like our God. He's not a respecter of persons. I hope you know you can't intimidate him with your age. You 
you can't intimidate him with your title. You even tell him, I am Ark Pope now. They have even ordained me, I am now Ark Pope. He said, in our record, in our record, we are even here to employ you as a disciple. Can you imagine that? Me, I don't want to labor loss in this kingdom. Excuse me. If it is me and you, I know how to bobo you. And you will quickly mark me right. But I love God. <laughs> he does not respect persons. He doesn't respect persons. He won't respect your title. You might even be a doctor professor. Am I making sense? But he doesn't mark that. Please tap somebody and say, are you truly following? So following and making. And in that scripture, it says, the only evidence that we conclude and tell us that you are following is that you end up being what? Fishers of men. Therefore, if you are following and you are being made and your heart is not being converted to fishing for men, then I know that Nkakanshi miss. Am I making sense? Come again, man. So that they will understand us. The moment you are following and it's panabiting, atinu atodenio, the way she reasoned, the mannerism, her appetite. Excuse me, what was the appetite of Peter when, she met, when he met Jesus? His appetite was fish. Anything fish. Fish, 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 fish. Baba Jesus. The day he met, he met Jesus, Baba did a miracle. The whole Eja, Eruba, of Eja, Nyele. He said, I don't need, I don't need fish again. I just want to follow you. Am I making sense to you? If you follow him, and your appetite is not detached from material, from Monday, your appetite is not detached from food, then I still query. In if I there, a pastor died of food, gluten. A pastor, I'm not saying a member, died of what man? Food, okay. On Sunday, hello, Sister Kike. Gunyan de mi mumbo, mu fetch a visitation. And she will visit Sister Kike by two. And hit Pandadia. Why he's living there? Sister Kate. John fried rice, say your man do, oh man do. Fried rice, Nico shade me. As he's approaching there, he will put his hand in his mouth and vomit. So that Ali could die. And he kept on eating it like that until he died. I mean death. Oku, oku. Onja man panyo. Excuse me, hasho man panyo. Me, man konti on panyo la ye yi. So, I had to dress her and say, God lost God. Who told you that it was God who took her, who took him? No. No. So when we begin to follow Christ, one of the things, one of the things we deal with is your appetite. What you are addicted to. Some of us, it is photo. Some of us, it is smoking. I want to smoke in the car. And you came up, but then you almost smoke. You won't smoke, but in tone, you told you to the smoking law. It is only that we didn't see it. So, God, this first with your mind set. Do you know what interprets some people? It's what they wear, what they have, how large they live, what God will first deal with. So, for me, for our apostle Peter, what interpreted him was fish. Fish. And I tell you, it was crazy about fish. Excuse me. Am I making sense? Because fish was a matter for him. Am I making sense? Fish was a matter. And so, Baba said, as you follow me, I will change your perspective to life. I will make you all around. And by the time anybody encounter you, you know, by the time he stood up to speak, they said he has encountered Christ. A lady pushes 
push us around here. Am I making sense? Unfortunately, what we do is that when people want to join us, what change you? Mindset what change you? But you only conform. The discipleship is not about conformation. It's about transformation. Am I making sense? Discipleship is about establishing your conversion. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Please celebrate this woman of God. Amen. Excuse me, you have to put my, <laughs> my teachings there. Let's go back to that following. I'm yet to be done with that. So he said, I will make you be calm. Be calm. And if you say, most of the time, when you say, mm, um, I want to be like Jesus. Abby, the reason why you and I are here is to be like Jesus. To do ministry like him. Therefore, if God secure a soul and hand it over to you in church, and add you, and add you over a soul on the street, what must you do to such soul? You must also say, follow me. And I put a question to you. If any soul follow you for one year, can he make heaven? If any soul, any soul followed you, 12 followed Jesus for three and a half years. Am I making sense? I want to see one follow in 10 years. Am I making sense to you? So we should be able to repeat what Jesus Christ said. You, you, and now, do you know that it's not everybody in our church that can read Bible? Yes or no, sir? There are people that can't read Bible. They, they don't know how to read. Because you can't read Bible. 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 You go 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 tell about it. She money call on me. You go come off you with me. Talk about it. You me. My God, did you my come on tell me? If anybody follow you like that, verbatim, will you be careful? Mommy, the way you you are wifeing your husband, the way you wife him, somebody say I want to follow it. Will you make heaven? Daddy, the way you are husband to a man, a woman, please have your seat. So when we talk about discipleship, discipleship is about everything with, within you. In my discipleship class, I said there is a level you get to. We call it the level of transfiguration. Jesus, pick few of his disciples. Onyo agbada kini kuro, glory nori. Agbada ke onyo. Even in your nakedness, you mean there is a confirmation that you are still the son of God. But what do we preach today? Don't bring them close to you. Because when they see some stain, excuse me, Jesus brought them to the highest peak. And that is where they actually had confirmation that he was truly a son of God. If we bring your members close to you, will there be a confirmation in their heart that you are, that you are a servant of God? Am I making sense to you? Boya, he got it to back up to cock up for mommy. I mean, ah, he, Yarele, Yarele, you can't do this. Am I making sense to you? Praise the Lord. Actually, we are the one killing the word of work of God in our hands. If you are not really like Jesus. Okay, let's move to the next slide because of time. John chapter 10, verse 27 to 28, said, My sheep hears my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give them eternal life, that they, that they shall not perish, neither shall any man, anyone snatch them out, of my hands. How many of you you have wept before and say, ah, 
until you are there, you are alone. You are not going to fall off. So, every last one, neither shall anyone snatch them. And you are not going to be able to do it. You are not going Nobody see that glory and want to go back. Nobody encounter that glory and we easily want to go back. Am I making sense to you? Can we go to verse 1? Please let somebody read verse 1 of John chapter 10. Somebody should help me. Let's keep it here. John. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Because come by Verily, verily, I say unto you. Verily, verily, I say unto you. He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold. Yes. But climbeth up some other way. Uh, the same is a thief so some people, and a robber. A shisa, a shisa, sa. Some people, they came in through some other way. Into the sheepfold, oh. Into the sheepfold. They won't go their way. Whether you like it or not, it may not born again. It doesn't matter what pastor is saying. Me, I am born again. When they lay foundation of CAC, I was there. How he hated me, you, you didn't know. You know, I love our father and the Lord, my husband. He says, you are not the registrar of heaven. Were you there? Do, do, do you check the list? Do you know whose name was there? I said, Some people were dropped from the roof. They dropped him from the roof. And oh, I boss, what you just buy? Through the roof. Did Jesus heal him or not? Jesus healed him. And it was the healing of the body. It was not the heart. It was not the heart. You're the deacon in church. And the deacon in church. And if care is not taken, we will even ordain him as a pope. Hmm? And he came in through some other way. I want you to look at that that is that seated by you and say, We only met here. Oh, yeah, I didn't know how you came in. I did not know how you came in. He says, Those who came in through any other way, they are who? Shame in Mosabe. Excuse me. We have ordained thieves. We have ordained robbers. And you are not telling us. You are not telling us. Eh, eh, how come they are stealing offering? How come? How come they are disvaging our virgins? How come? Ah, <laughs> when you ordain thieves, what do you ordain them to do? What does Steve know how to do? To steal? So key, I want to want this right, shush. Oh, man, come here, he does not know. He can Excuse me, we will get to a place you will see. You cannot disciple a thief. You can't disciple a thief. You can't disciple a robber. If you disciple a robber, you only anoint him to do more, more of what, sir? Stealing. And. Killing and destroying. destroy it. Oh no, you need destroy it. When they came in through other means, even Jesus himself. Do you remember Jesus visiting the temple? He said, You have taught my church to be dense of robbers. And this was what gave birth to it. Jesus, please go to verse 7. Daddy, read that verse, verse 7. Yes. It's more so ye nini. Verily, verily, I say unto you. I am the door of the sheep. It doesn't matter. You can be born into CAC. Nobody said it is true born into CAC. 
that you become a disciple or you become a sheep. Verily, verily, I say unto you, as everybody come through me, you have to come through me. Did we read it? Is it in CSC Bible 2? Is it there? Eh? The same Bible, not it? Said, then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door, the door of the sheep. I am the door of the sheep. Not the door of wolves, not the door of goats, not the door of robbers, not the door of thieves. Please go back to my slide. Did you see it? It said, my sheep. It did not say my goats. It did not say my wolf. I even hear some pastors make boast of it. That's the de definition of goats. Sheep are meek. Sheep are teachable. Sheep are obedient. They are lying. Am I making sense? I served and worked a little, a little in my degree before coming downstairs, down this, down this way. And those years, one small boy, one small boy can carry 200 sheep. Small boy, seven year old, will carry sheep. And all the, all the sheep, you will see them, they will be, you will see the serenity in their movement. You will see how cool. How calm. One small boy, small boy. And they will follow. Boom, 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 boom. Because they are all sheep. Sir, that 200 sheep just put one goat. Please, don't, I'm not saying 20 goats. One. And go and look at it again. The goat will be rumbling them. Oh no, it will be rumbling. Bru, 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 bru. If you are in your church, identify the goats. Because was <laughs> my Shall we stand up? Joko. They are never easily mended. If you go to their home, if they are fighting, they cannot be easily appeased. You can't ask them. I'm your pastor. Sit down. Excuse me. We must here. Must sit. We must here. We must here. Must. Ah, may you not have goatee. Ah, oh, they are difficult to pastor. Difficult to mend. Difficult to teach. Difficult to align. Goats. Oh, goats. This is one of the reasons why I'm committed to discipleship. If you don't disciple your people, Inshallah. You know, one of the main statements of Jesus. Don't let me jump. Let's go one by one. We have talked about thieves. I'm, mothers, wave your hand to me. As we are coming to this place, your one year old boy or girl, second today, Koti Lord, Koti Sen, Koti Senje. Go too late for me. One year. <laughs> eh? If your 20 year old child is still behaving like one year, it's a heartache. Babies. Galatians chapter, chapter 4, verse 1. We won't read it. They, can, they are not dependable. Excuse me. If, if you hold 1,000. And you hold sweets, one naira. And you do like this to a baby. Ewolo mamu. Eskisa ewolo nyamu. Do you see the difference? The same thing spiritually. They are not dependable. But unfortunately in the church, we gather babies. All babies know. is give me, give me. I'm hungry. I poo -poo. You can imagine those are the people that you gather in church. They are never responsible. We have the carnal Christians. The carnal Christian, 
too carnal in their thinking, in their reasoning, too carnal. Then we have the sensual, the sensual. And unfortunately, in the church of today, our church today, it is sensuality. Sensuality. Kini water. Kiloni. Ibolokalos. Ibolosua. I want motto on Okosita. And we say, if, if all of you, you have Jeep there, God is here. I was in the church. A pastor came up. For the next 15 minutes, he did his leg like this. He says, if it is good, it is God. If it is God, it must be good. If it is good, it's God. And he kept on ranting. As he was saying it, my spirit was, was, was roaring. That this, this is not true. Lord, what is it? And the Holy Spirit said to me, the fruit that Eve ate was good and pleasant, and I was not in it. So it is not everything that is good that is God. But sensual Christian, if they are there, hey, right up, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Carnal Christian, sensual Christian, Baby Christians are the landing base for Satan. Satan lands on them to carry out their atrocity. Are they born again? Yes. They are born again. But they didn't grow up. They remained small. And so God can't depend on them. Am I making sense to you? I don't want to believe, but because I know this is, this is the topic we are dealing with. I would have actually dealt so much with definitions. I don't want to belabor you with definitions, but I want to provoke our spirit man to let you know that God was not playing with words when he mentioned disciples in the Bible. Now, the natural man. The natural man is naturally hard. How many of you know that the Bible says one of the reasons why people put away, um, divorce happened, is hardness of heart. Did you read it in the Bible? Matthew 19. One of the reasons why divorce is allowed is hardness of heart. Another word for hardness of heart is when a man becomes natural. You, can't, you come down from your spiritual dimension and you become natural about marriage. You can become natural about things. Please, go back to my screen. A, a natural man is an unregenerated man. Influenced by passion, desire, appetite, sense, senses of flesh, rather than by the prompting of the Holy Spirit. And a natural man is without hope. It has no hope. And, it is, and he is helpless apart from Christ. It is only Christ that can give him hope. It is only Christ that can give him help. Am I making sense to you? Let's move to the next slide. Yeah, the concept of discipleship. The concept of discipleship. No man can disciple a man that is here. You cannot disciple a natural man. A natural man must first encounter Christ. The Bible said in that book of 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10 to 17, that the natural man cannot smell God, cannot feel God. Sir, before you were born again, I want you to look at it. You were coming to church. For some of us who were natural Christians then, you were coming to church, but everything they were saying, in fact, the moment they share grace, ask me what they did in church. I can't hear anything. But I will remember that. But I can't remember anything pastor said. Why? The natural man cannot perceive God. He can't understand God. If you are still with me, shout hallelujah. 
Am I worrying you? Am I confusing anybody? The natural man needs what is called conviction. Why did I call it? Conviction, which was what happened to, to, um, to Simon when he got the fish. <laughs> fish smelled to him. You see, when you get to the point of conviction, it is you that will detest sin. Are you getting what I'm saying? Point of conviction. There are two convictions. You are convicted as a sinner. And you, are, you have conviction unto righteousness. Are you getting it? And this will lead you to what is called godly sorrow. And you come to repent. I was going this way. Eh? Then you make a U-turn. That was most, what must happen to a natural man. And there is this assurance that comes to your heart. All of this is what we call salvation. Salvation. If it, does, if it has not happened to a man, any labor you are doing will be a labor in vain. Am I making sure? Am I making, making, are we understanding what I'm saying? Okay? Then what will happen again is that once you become saved, you become what is called a babe. You are a convert. You are a raw material. What is raw material? Meaning that you are just a material that God can work with. When I went to the market to buy this cloth, it was raw. But I couldn't wear it. My tailor had to work on it for it to be fitting. Therefore, you are just like a raw material that God can work on, that God can work with. But if nobody helps you from that place, we call you a steel bat. Mommy. Mama was It's only in the church that when we have spiritual steel bats, we will still keep them in the church. So no wonder church stinks. When you put them and you keep them in church, the church stinks. Because it does not matter your investment over a natural man. It, it's not going to do anything except there is a visitation of God again. Can I hear you shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Therefore, when you have a baby and you have a convert and you have a raw material, it needs to go through the process. It needs to go through the process. You can't force it. There must be what is called willingness from the heart. Hallelujah. I used to tell people, God, God has not done anything that is impossible. Jesus, when he came, he picked them from, he picked, Matthew was who? Tax collector. Right? Luke was who? Luke was a, was a doctor. So he picked them from, so if somebody would say, excuse me, excuse me, and then you are only of him, is that true? Then brother Luke would say, ah, how myself, me, 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 law school, can can. in law school, but I, the moment I met Jesus, I learned Jesus. Am I making sense to you? What is this process? The meaning of this process is Christ to be learned. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 20. Can we read it? Let somebody read. Dad, Daddy, read it to me. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 20. Praise the Lord. You have not learned this from Christ. Meaning that Christ is to be learned. Christ is to be learned. One being your mom. Christ, the moment you come to Christ, you must learn it. Christ is to be learned. So what we do in discipleship is that we are learning Christ. We are learning the way of Christ. We are learning how to be like him. We are learning how to act like him. We are learning how to think like him. We are learning how to reason like him. 
The Bible said he has left a step. We must put our feet in it. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1. Let's quickly see some of the things. Sir, is there a way I can be knowing how much time I have more? Therefore, leaving the discussions of the elementary principle of Christ, let me hold it there. You cannot leave primary one if you don't pass primary one. Hmm? You can't leave primary school and say, me oh, me oh, as I come to the world, I want to start from university. Therefore, if the Bible is saying, leaving the elementary basis, you must master the elementary basis. And what we learn in discipleship is the foundation. And that foundation is key. It does not matter what you want to build as in your home. It does not matter what you want to build in ministry. It does not matter what you will be, be as a person. Do you want to be a governor? And you want to be a Christian governor? If you don't have that elementary, you will fail. It is the foundation. It matters. Praise God. Please, let's go back to that Hebrew 6 one. I want to quickly rush through. Within one, I mean, within three months, within three months, can I also say that our employer recognized the first three months of our children? That's the reason Taba Bimo was up for any maternity leave. Like, yeah, it's just three months. This is only the six months. May I announce to you that in the Develop world, what is the one year? Then you did your do In fact, at one year, paternity leave is Eh, Baba, I want to go to the foundation. They want to, in fact, can I shock you? They want to, de, to the 10th year of a child matters. The 10th year of a child matters. The 10th year of a child Put everything it will take. Put it in it then you will have helped that child. That foundation will be so solid. But do you know you can also be there and not know what to do? Praise God. Am I confusing us? But I, you understand what I'm saying from here. He said, let us go on to, on to, the, to perfection. He talks about let us go on to maturity. But you can't leave the foundation and move on to Maturity. Not laying again the foundation of repentance. So number one is repentance from dead works. In my church, I will ask them, especially if I have to follow you up one-on-one, -on -one, can you please list some of the things that is occurring you to you, to Timon Shetele, to Jacob, they are dead works. What that do to you, to that person, is that when he sits down and is writing, Moman Buro, when it's about your equilogy, or do not laugh at him. He makes the weight of sin real to whoever is making that list. What are the, okay, tell me the dead works that you know. Don't tell me my own. Tell me your own. And they'll begin to make the list. In our book, uh, we call it Integration Class. I will write them about 100 lists. Oh, yeah. Matiki, you talk about that, you call it And you will see that. Some, some one sister came and said, is that when I go to the middle of the book, the question is, bad toy. Praise God. If they do it sincerely and genuinely, you will see them coming to true repentance. You know, there is this self, self um, celebration you have. I am good. Excuse me. It is when we place you side by side with Christ, you will see your, your, your filthiness. Am I making sense to you? He says, repent, I mean, faith towards who? Do you know the reason why some of our church members have had failed faith? Because you grew their faith towards church. You grew their faith towards you. Excuse me, it doesn't matter how good you are, you are still on the queue. You are still on the queue. So that's why primarily, foundationally, their faith must be towards God. And you must always tell them that even me, I'm still waiting on God. I have seen some of our ministers preach, a rather about me, 
None of your none of your disciple must end up in you. They must actually pass through you to connect with God. Are you getting it? Faith towards God. Verse 2. He said, doctrine of baptisms. Doctrine of baptism. And we have five baptisms. Baptism into Christ. Baptism into Christ. Becoming a member of the global church. Excuse me. Christ is not going to save CAC. Christ is going to save his body in the entire world. Yes or no? So somebody can belong to CAC. Somebody can belong to men of Issachar and not be a part of the member of Christ. Am I making sense? So your primary thing you must sell to your disciple is that you must be a part of the body of Christ globally. Am I making sense to you? And if he becomes a member of Christ globally, then his commitment to Christ administratively will be through CAC. Am I making sense to you? The second, the side, I mean, baptism is baptism by immersion. And what does that mean? Public declar declaration that I am now dead. I am dead to sin and I'm alive now in Christ. Public declaration. It was when I went to Brazil that the, the real meaning of Water baptism got real to me. They do it as if they want to do wedding. We have a missionary working in one of their, in the mission field there. So when I was coming to visit, he kept on saying, Mommy, I'm a she baptism. Mommy, I'm a she baptism. I'm a she baptism. Ah, what took you two days? Mommy, I'm a she baptism. <laughs> so what's it about baptism? Excuse me, they are baptism. Oh my Lord, I shall be wedding gown here. I want Babati, I want my wife. They will invite their old friends. So as, the, as you are leading her to the water, as you bury her like this, and she raises her hand, she comes up as if to her, I am holy and holy. <laughs> oh, honestly, it makes so much meaning to me. Another of our, of our father in the Lord, when he did his own baptism, as he came out, he brought out his phone. He said, obituary, obituary. The Ben guy you used to know is dead. Excuse me. Everybody started calling him. The Ben guy you used to know, you don't know him again. If you talk about your sins or tuni. That is water baptism. We baptize our, our, our people, they don't understand the meaning. That's why the Bible says, the moment they give their life to Jesus, you should baptize them. Make them a public declaration that they are no more alive to anything that is passion, anything that is sensual, anything that is sin. Am I making sense to you? Then the third one, is it the third one? Is the immersion. Oh, do I have what hand? Um, okay. <laughs> no, I will need a tray. Okay, don't worry. You know when you have a paper and you put it inside water and you raise it up, what will be dropping? <laughs> it's okay for you to, for me to lay hand to this daddy. Excuse me. Ah, say, but I know what, I know what, one song go. Am I making sense? That your spirit man is drenching with the spirit of the Lord. Don't show. Don't show. That is immersion. By the time you come out of immersion into the pool of the spirit of the Lord, you will be dripping. Can you stand up, sir? If he is dripping, can you put one pool? You want to know where you are showing? You want to see you by? You want to see you by? You want to if he is so truly immersed in the pool of the of this Holy Ghost, if he sits here and he carries the Spirit of God and I'm sick, if I sit, I should be healed. Please have your seat. Excuse me. No. Don't 
immersion. You become a carrier. You see some men of God. You know, eminent multi rebuke one that led. Man of God, joke with one or joke with a kidney to one. It's because he carries something. He is drenched. Nobody day, there is something that sucked that drip down. Didn't you hear that they were bringing sick people so that so that somebody's shadow? I want to carry any, I want to need my shawl in here. So, what do we call your own daddy? Baptism, baptism. Immersion. I'm not making sense to you. That's number four, right? Number three. Number four. Number four is immersion into God's fire. Fire. He promised us Holy Ghost hand. Holy Ghost. There is a baptism of fire. That's the reason why somebody will tell you. Don't go to your father's uh, father's uh, town. To bad day, ah, bad day, bad day. You walk by fire, sorry. And let me see one devil that will wait for you. Baptism of fire. You are you are coming. They see you. They run. Oh, it's better do that. You know, I shouldn't talk about prayer where you are. Uh, CAC prayer. I can't go for prayer, but I can't go for carrying fire. When you carry fire, you don't need. Anybody to announce you. That is, mommy, can you call a queen lady? Coco, 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 Excuse me. I want to be by one like you. One real now. They can see whether you carry it or you don't carry it. Touch on my anointed. I do my prophet no harm. They know whether you are anointed or not. They know whether you carry it or you don't carry it. And they come to try. I have never seen in life where flies will sit upon a burning coal. Don't come and share that testimony on this hotel. It is not a testimony. He's only telling us that fire is gone. Baptism of fire. The last one that we don't like to talk about is immersion into his suffering. You'll be persecuted. Immersion, baptism of his suffering. They will beat you. They will rob you of promotion. Do you know the reason why you will compromise in CAC? Because they have to promote you. He told you, no, what's your kube it is part and parcel of it. Jesus Christ said, if I have suffered, you will suffer. You will, you will pass through the same. Excuse me, this must be taught within the three months of salvation. You will be beaten. Me. <laughs> uh, my father beat me one time. My, father, my, my mother was eating my head against the wall. My father was beating. <laughs> my father was beating. He wanted to beat Jesus to And they were beating it. Hey, on my graduation, I was sent out for three days. And I was outside. People were saying, Yeah, be 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 even when they all followed me and we knelt down to beg daddy. Daddy, I'm not going to be able to disobey. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Jesus, Jesus, you want to be daddy. Jesus, you want to be daddy. Those women, they want to be daddy. What is it? 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 Praise the Lord. Excuse me, if you are not facing any form of persecution, the church of today, we are not facing persecution because of Christ. We are facing persecution because we are going to be thieves. Because of compromise. Am I making sense? Oh, you are not answering me. 
e ma bi missionary ni mi ni pe lo how many of you are, are blessed with what we are saying all this thing i'm saying your disciples should know it when in three months in three months please let's move on i've done the five right the next one no okay you now talk about laying on of hands my preaching mates please come casting tari okay so I have done one of the other ones okay as i go and i lay my hands he didn't say as i go i meet a sick e duro mo bom fe lo gbadua ka pa she ke 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 no he said as you go you meet the sick you lay your hand you don't need to go and come back am i making sense and when you lay hand to ba je un lokun odo e lo ma la ti flow si mi to ba je mi ni mokun odo mi lo ma ti flow eh so but what what is she loaded with what am i loaded with am i making sense he moves from the higher realm to the lower the sort if spiritually ye ye ni mu and she's higher eh I, I want mommy. Are you getting it? So when you go for a meeting, I like you can 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 can. Ah, I pity you. Are you loaded? Are you filled? That's why the Bible Bible says, "Be ye filled." Be ye filled. He did not say, "Give me your water, ma." Ah, oh, okay. What you have? What you have? Okay, that that. Is it filled? There is nothing called vacancy. Something is filling here. If you are not full and filled, something else is filled. And that's why when you now go halfway, something must fill this place. That's why you will teach your convert daily reading of the Bible, daily milk, daily investment to be loaded. You are not loaded so that pastor will ask you show car. No. You are there to be filled continuously. God bless you, ma. Am I making sense to you? You must continue to be filled. Can I also say that your disciple must know that if he meets a sick person on the street, he must minister to the sick person. Because no, I'm going to go and book with uh, our pope. No, he must bring you testimonies. Testimony, daddy. Daddy, me mo ko tu sele mo kasa o demon last week. Ele yi o ko fe kasa ki ba o de ki tu je se e tu ko ya ba dura ti pada no. Pada no. That is the way you raise them. You then continue. You see, I feel sad. Every Sunday when you see kills some people they are waiting to see one man of God. When you have sons that can lay hand, sons that can pray, sons that can minister Holy Ghost baptism. Won wa ni woni kan ni won fe pa e ni. John chapter 1 uh, chapter 4 verse 1 can we read it John chapter 1 verse uh, verse 3 uh, sorry chapter yes therefore when the lord knew that the pharisees had heard that John Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John yes can can we all read that bracket mm -hmm. But who did they report that was that was baptized? She just just to walk with Mary. His disciples were baptizing, and they were doing it exactly the way we do it, and they concluded that it was Jesus doing it. So how come that you are the only one in your whole church that know how to how to pray, that know how to minister healing, that know how to teach? How come then you are not doing it like Jesus? Jesus prototype. is that within 3 years your disciples should be able to preach the way you are preaching your disciples should be able to read the way you are reading your disciples should be able to minister the way you is ministering did it happen in Jesus' days if the answer is yes then how have you raised your disciples don't let your members become too much dependent on you please go to my slide so 
This must be known within how many weeks? How many months? Uh, yes, three months. And what, when you are sharing all of that, what you are looking at is that they are growing in their faith towards who? And the life of the kingdom is becoming real and relevant in them. They are growing in their love towards God and all his concerns. Today we have people who are 10 years old in faith. They are in our church. It's because they are not properly discipled. And I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Then, this is what you are looking for. They want to grow into the full stature of Christ. Even me, that they made, they think I am a giant. But me, when they stand by me, they are here. So I am telling them it is possible. It is possible. Our Father in the Lord will always tell us. He said in this race, overtaking is allowed, but I'm not stopping. I am not stopping. I am, so in discipleship, you are not doing Alpha and Omega. You are not doing, you are, you are not the end. Tony will not see in Lekpa. The height is Christ. You are not the height. Am I making sense to you? And maturity. You want to raise them to become born servants of the Lord. Heaven conscious. 24-7, they are heaven conscious. Can I hear you shout hallelujah? So what are we doing here? We are learning, cultivating, and developing. We are becoming intentional in the process, and it is systematic. We want to reproduce disciples. We want to impact the life of Christ. We want to model and say, if you see me, you are seeing what Christ represents. Then we want to conform to the image of Christ. And discipleship class is a tutelage. And there must be transformation. Please go to the next slide. I think we have explained this. He said, follow me, I will make you fishers of, fishers of men. But why, why is it that the church of today, we are, not, we are not involved in discipleship? We do not have majority of our people converted. When an unconverted soul will not be able to, will not be able to minister conversion. I hope you know that conversion is an experience, experiential thing. You cannot, um, you cannot manipulate. You can't stage play it. It's, a, it's an experience. Those who are converted are not discipled. Those who are genuinely converted do not have help to be discipled. And once they are not discipled, even when you mobilize them to go and disciple, they don't, it takes somebody who is a disciple to be able to disciple. Let me share this testimony. I remember... I remember uh, uh, having a team. The risk the church suffers when you neglect discipleship. And so for three days, we're talking about discipleship, discipleship. And the Sunday when we're supposed to leave, I do the last one, deep course to the deep, where I was to impact them. And I, and I said, please go back to your church and re-disciple your church. One pastor's wife, general overseer's wife, raised up her hand and said, Mommy, share it. At the Friday, there's a disciple, disciple, she disciple. Was any disciple me? And me was Mama Shen She. He thought I saw him now in Mama. Can I shock you? She was 18 years pastor. She's been pastoring 18 years. And she said she doesn't know how to disciple. If you are not disciple, you can't you can be mobilized. When you are mobilized, you must, be, you must be well informed on what to do. Am I making sense to you? Now you are mobilized, you want to do it, but you are not informed. So, these are the reasons. Disciples are to make disciples. Right from the foundation, God said, make your kind. Reproduce you. And if we multiply you in the body of Christ, will the body of Christ be helped? Are you getting what I'm saying? There is a sister 
That sister, she used to come late. And she's always having offense. This is, I said this statement to. I said, if we ask God to multiply you in this church, she opoleje, I be with. Eh? Multiply, late comma. <laughs> that is the truth. It's God that we peg multiplication of some people. Because God doesn't want to multiply error. Am I making sense? Please go ahead. Okay? No, God, no, no, no. Can we all read this together? Okay, okay. These people read it. That people do not read. Can you read, please? Matthew 28, 20. Go. Daddy, can you stand up? If I hand over my, my son to you, as everything God has taught you, since, since you ever know him, please help me teach him so that my son will become like you in faith. Will it take three days for you to be able to teach it? It will be more than that. Three days. Within the three days. God bless you. Meaning that discipleship cannot be taught in the class. Teaching them all that I have taught you, that is discipleship. Teaching them everything, everything that make you to come and accept Christ, everything that make you to be steady, everything that is making you to grow, teaching them all on the line hall in your Bible. Please give me my last, uh, that's, he said, the master wise builder, if there's anything you, can, you must do, is please, to make sure that this happens. So any convert you have, number one, you must nurse. Number two, breastfeed. Number three, you in your hand, let them win. Are you getting it? When you are doing this, you are checking. Is this life having victory over sin and its guilt? The next thing is, is it breaking away from old habits and wrong association? Then, are you seeing genuineness, genuine heart in repentance? If this is happening to that man, you will see zeal for God. You will see sharp appetite for truth. Then you are going to see hot love for God's kingdom, for God's people. All of this is what we call first love. Have you finished preaching before I said, go back to your first love? What about those who didn't have the privilege of first love? That is the reason in discipleship, you must make them experience first love. That love, that passion. I don't know how many of us are married here. You are married here. Yes. You see, once you are married, you remember those years. When we were in when courtship, my husband will, will follow me like this. I'm my wole wa lock. I took pada. I took it lock. I want. I took wole. I took wole. I took pada. Mo wa mo wa mbe no kila ebo kila anso no kila anso mba yena kila manso no mi yoti. That is first love. I'm a baby yoti. When you are when you raise your first love to God, you will be so passionate. You will be so passionate. Hallelujah. And. Strong and agile spirit, agile in spirit. That is what you see when you have done it so well. And continuously, you must be jealous over that soul. You must be jealous over that soul. And this, when somebody is in experiencing first love, you see humility, servanthood, dependent on God, confidence, aware, aware of God's presence, desire for, for service, concern for the lost, deep faith, Overflowing joy and prayerfulness. This is what you see. Okay, please move to the next slide. I'm rounding up now. Why discipleship? 
Sorry, that's go make disciple. God said, go make, Jesus Christ said, go make disciple. Can I shock you? The last assignment he gave us is what? Go to the nations and do what? And make converts. And make members. And make CACites. Eh? Therefore, if you do anything outside it, you are on your own. All he's interested in is that you make disciples. Do you also know that it's only disciples that can make disciples? Then another thing is to re reduce spiritual stillbirth. We have to make disciples. Apostles, descent. And can I also tell you in our day, if God will still send people, he will only pick among the disciples. So if you are gathering church members, you will know that you will not, God will not start a revival with you. He will start revival with the saints to maintain, sorry, the maintenance of our DNA, the holiness of life that was in Christ Jesus. Transfiguration experience was only to the disciples, not to the multitude. Bearing burden alongside with him was only with the disciples. Jesus did not share with the multitude that, oh, I have a trouble. I am moving very, very close to the cross. He only shared it with the disciples. And it was among the disciples he picked those people that he would go and pray with. Am I making sense? And that is the truth. Beloved, whatever God will do in our days, he will not do it with the multitude. He also will not do it with any other thing. It is among the disciples. Please permit me to let you know, church growth, as far as God is concerned, is he counts disciples. That you are having mixed multitude. Sir, can you stand up, sir? If you plant vegetable garden and you go for three months and you are coming back, what do you want to harvest in that place? What will you meet there if it is not tended weed? I hope the church of God in your hand will not gather weed. When he said, if I return, will I meet faith? He meant it. If discipleship is not continuing, may I announce to you that church can be distinct. Church can be killed. The essence of church is to make disciples. Therefore, when you stop making disciples, please come, please come, please come. Pastor, I'm rounding up. <laughs> stay here, please stay here. Please stay here. The baton has been coming and coming and coming and coming. It lands in her hand. He handed it over. He handed it over. If at the long run, he decided to throw it away, may I announce to you, the generation that will come up in church will not know our faith. By the time it becomes the fourth generation, they will not, there will not be mention of Christ again. Am I making sense? Even Nigerian church that we, all of us are celebrating, that Nigerian church, we pray. Please have your seat, sir. We pray. We read Bible. I am very much afraid of Nigerian church. Why? We are spreading like this, but we are not going our root deep. And I mean deep in the core assignment, which is discipleship. If discipleship is lost, the church will be lost. I want you to rise up and pray, Lord. In our time, in our age, discipleship will not be lost. The discipleship will be revived. Can you beg God to revive the discipleship with you? Open your mouth and pray that God in his own mercy will revive discipleship.